Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to construct an object. So for example, if you have an object and you wanted to alter that object, for example, you wanted to add some value to the object. So you have an existing object, you wanted to add some key value pair in the existing object. Or you have an object where you wanted to add some array value into the object. So those kind of things we are going to see today. In order to do that, I uh, will just uh, quickly create a Mule application from our AnyPoint Studio. So I am just creating a Mule project for this demo. I will just name this project as Data Wave Demo. Data Wave. Data Wave Demo. I will name it as 13. And I will just click finish. So in order to do any uh, data wave coding, we need a transform message. So I am going to add the transform message in order to do the particular coding in our end. So the package is getting created or the new application project is getting created. So now this is a place it will form the structure of your project and it will copy the required jar. So that is uh, getting completed now. So now the editor is loaded. So what we are going to do, we are going to add transform message which normally will be there in the core and you can drag and drop or you can search transform message and you can drag in, drag and drop into your uh, canvas, your editor window. Okay. So now I have a transform message. So now uh, I'm going to work on this particular area. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just change this to JSON uh, so that you know we can see some kind of output in our preview. So I'll just click the preview here so that we can see the output of this data wave coding. So if you see here uh, in the header section we have only the output directory, output uh, format and also in the body section we have only empty JSON uh, so that it will get printed here. So once we see the preview we will start writing some code in the data wave editor. See here, if we see here, it's showing it's running preview, right? It's trying to load the output of this particular entire data wave coding. It's trying to open it here. So once uh, it open, right, it will we'll be able to see this result. See here, we are able to see the result of this data wave coding. So maximum we are going to work on this particular window and also we are going to see the preview. So we don't need this. So I'll just uh, minimize this one. And also if you don't need this particular window and all you can close this package explorer or if you don't need this out, outline a minute then you can close that window as well. So whatever the window is not required you can close it so that you can uh, see everything in a bigger window. Okay so now I have uh, data wave window I'll just close the mule palette as well. So now if you see here uh, output application slash json this is the output. So now what I what I have told is we are going to construct an object, right? So we not do that. I'll just create a sample object, a variable. I'll call it as object. Uh, this is a object sample, right? I'll just name it as object one, and I'll equal to. I'll just specify some object. Okay. So whatever you wanted to create an object, it has to be enclosed with this curly braces. It has to start with curly braces, and it has to end with this curly braces. So now what I'll do is I'll just create some key, which is one. So any uh, value right uh, in your object, if you wanted to specify any value as a in a JSON, you need to give it in a uh, key value pair. So one is my key and value I'll just keep it as one, the digit value I'll keep it. Okay. So similarly, if I wanted to add uh, more uh, fields in my object, then I can define that as well. So I'll call this two and then I'll just colon and then say two. Okay. So this is my object. So if you look at my object, it has two uh, elements. So one is with a key one, which is having a value one and two and it's having value two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print this one first object one. So whatever the object one result, it will appear here. So it's same thing. It's uh, appearing in the right side in a beautified format, right? It's not in the same line. It's uh, displaying it properly in the beautified format or in the printable format. So now what I'm going to do is the object one, right? So I'm just going to, uh, if you see here, there is no key, correct? Uh, it's starting with curly braces and closing is with the curly braces. If you wanted to specify this value as some with some key, then what you can do is you just uh, you can give like uh, any value. So for example, I wanted to give us a key as O1, then you are able to see O1 and then the entire object value, it's getting printed here. So the entire object value, it is getting printed. Okay, so now if I don't give that right, only object one so it is having the curly braces starting from here and ending here right so there is no 
outer curly braces but when i define that right as a key and value pair so for example o1 is my key one object one is my key name o1 so it's getting printed so as it is starting as a root element right it's enclosing again with one more curly braces so this is a valid proper uh, json syntax okay so it's coming here so now this is the object one and i'm trying to print this o in the o1 i'm trying to print this object one okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to add parenthesis here okay so if you see here this is a par sorry so this is a parenthesis symbol i'm just closing it so you just watch the output whatever it's going to get changed okay so currently I, I didn't close that so whatever the previous output o1 and then you have a curly braces and it's ending and then there is a outer curly braces right so now i'll just close this one and you see the any changes in the output there is no changes in the output correct because if you enclose with uh, parenthesis there won't be any changes okay so when we need to enclose uh, for example if you wanted to add more values in your object right then what you need to do you have to enclose your object with this parenthesis and then if you wanted to add more object what you can do is you just add curly braces here and close the curly braces so now if you see here there is no change still here there is no change in the output so now i wanted to add one more key and value okay then what i can do is this particular object right whatever we, we are resulting it it is having a one and two okay so now i wanted to add three so i'll add three colon three so if you see the output three is getting added in the existing object itself so how we are adding or constructing in our object with additional value so this is the syntax you have to use it for example i'm starting with the curly braces and there i wanted to add multiple things so i just uh, existing object and just giving in a parenthesis and i'm giving a additional key and value pairs so it's getting added into existing object itself now uh, for example i wanted to this is how we need to add a object right uh, in the object we are trying to add so if we see here everywhere it's a curly braces so it's an object right so o1 is an object which is having this value so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some array value into this okay so now uh, we are going to add some array value so in order to do that i'll just declare some array i'll call this one as a variable array one equal to so array normally start with this square bracket okay so for example in the array i can say one comma two i can add it like this okay or i'll just as we have already one two three i'll just add uh, 10 and 11 okay i'll just add in this array so for example if you wanted to print this array okay so o2 i'll say uh, i'll not say o2 this is array one right so i'll just call it as array one and i'll call it as array one okay so now if you see here it's not getting printed right because there is a syntax error it's showing so if you have multiple lines right then you have to or multiple output right because this itself one output and uh, you have another output so i can add comma okay so that is one and the other one is uh, there are multiple line and you have to add a uh, open curly braces and you have to close with that curly braces then only you will have the proper json syntax okay so because it has two value one is a o1 and the array one so array one is having this value okay so array one a1 is a key and value is this one okay so now if you see this one right uh, this is how uh, it's coming right so now if i if i don't don't want this array one right i can comment it so that it will display only o1 so now what i'm going to do is this array one you saw simple one how to add multiple element in an array right in a, a string we have added so similarly you can add an object also so now in our example what we are going to do i'm just going to remove this one and i'm going to add an object okay so what I, ob, object how i'm going to add i'll call this one as object one colon this is exactly this is the object right this is the object so i'm going to print this object one in my array so you see the output in the right side also okay so now if you see here right this array having only one element in the array where i have declared a key as object obj1 and then i have printed this variable okay now i'll just remove this one and if you see the a1 value right a1 value i just printed array so this array is nothing but obj1 which is object 1 which is this one and then i'm trying to print the variable of my object if you see here my variable of this object 1 is nothing but this value so that is what it's coming here correct so if you see here a1 i'm just printing an array in the array we have an object in the array we have an object so this is what it was there in the object one right so it's starting okay so now even though we put only one object right instead of printing this one it is adding this enclosed parenthesis and then it's keeping that object value 
now what we are going to do in the same array i'm going to add one more object i'll just add a comma object to colon i'm just going to print the same object same object is nothing but this value only correct so i'll just print that i'll save it so now if you see this a1 right a1 is this line so this one what is coming so in the a1 it's array array can have multiple elements if you see here array is having multiple element which is object 1 and also it is having object 2 okay so it is having two object in the same array so now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to combine array and object so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm just uh, i'll disable this one so now we'll have only object 1 right so now what i'll do i'll write object 2 colon so now in this case right i'm just going to add a curly braces so basically i'll just going to add this one okay so if you see here i'm just i'll copy the entire line I will copy the entire line. If you see the output, the same thing will repeat, right? 1, 2, 3, because 1 and 2 is from the object 1, and the, this one is a key value pair we have added, right? So now what I'm going to do is in this one itself, I'm going to add a array 1. Okay, so I'm going to add array 1. So normally, if you see this one, right, object you need a key value pair, right? So I cannot print this array 1 directly, right? So I'll just add that array 1 and I'll just add a comma, okay. So now if you see this one, it's not giving a result because you need a key value pair. So here you have a key value pair, the object also you have a key value pair. So object needs a key value pair, right? So I'll just keep this as a A1. Okay, so if you see here, now our output is coming here. So how it is getting stored? O2 and then you have a curly braces, right? So that curly braces to denote the object. And then I have array 1. Array 1 is nothing but these two object, right? So object 1, array 1. Square, uh, okay, so in the array 1, right, it is nothing but it's array only, right? So that array symbol is coming, and after that, you have a obj1 and object 1 and obj2 object 2, and that array is getting closed. So the, that is this part array 1, right? So this is getting closed, and then uh, array is getting printed. So this, whatever I highlighted in the left side, a1 array 1, it's nothing but whatever I highlighted in the right side, a1 array 1. So array 1, we had a two object. Correct. So now in the same object, O2 is object, right? So in the O2 object, we had an array, which is A1. And also if we see the output, right? We have object 1, comma 3, right? So that also it's getting added here. Because you know the output of this, right? So this output is nothing but, for example, this output object 1, comma 3 is this output. Correct. So that is, uh, that is getting added in the end. So if you see O2, so O2, it's having a, combination of array which is this one which is a1 and till this point this is the array and then we have another object which has uh, 1 2 and 3 so this one right which is getting combined here so now in the object what we have seen how to add array and also how to add a few more object and also key value pair so now if you look at this this is still an object right for example you wanted to convert that also array then what you can do is instead of this uh, curly braces or i'll just minimize or i'll command this one and because you wanted to refer you can refer it and then i'll just put this one uh, and this one i'll change to square bracket if you see here earlier this o2 starting with curly braces which is object but now i want entire thing to be array and if you see here the entire thing was end to end it's array now Yeah, end to end was array now because in the array you have uh, array 1 object 1 and 3 so that's why this is also changed to array and array 1 and uh, yeah array 1 it goes till here and then uh, you have this getting closed and you have next one okay so next one and also the another one so everything it's treated as a separate separate object and it's coming as a array now so this is how uh, you have to combine your array and object and uh, another key and elements as well. So now what we have seen today, how to declare object and uh, how to keep the value in an object and uh, we have printed that first and then we have added in that object itself how to add additional field and then we have added an array and then in the array we have also added an object and key value pair. So this way, you, if you have a data payload is coming in a different uh, section where you wanted to combine different value with the object with the array, 
then you can uh, construct an object using this kind of uh, syntax this way you can combine your object with other key and value pairs other key value pairs thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye